what is going on everybody welcome back i'm back with another video on spice's youtube channel and today i'm going to put you guys on to a couple different things such as hot keys you need to know and you can use right now to level up your production some secret things that you didn't know fl20 had secret mixer presets that you can kind of steal. So we're gonna start real light with hot keys and then we'll just build up gradually. So the first thing is the portamento tab. Now it's super annoying when you make these chops and it still plays even when it's not triggered. So let's make a chop right here. It starts playing the notes even though there's no chop here. To avoid that, all you gotta do is go to the option tab, project setting, go to the advanced tab and unclick play truncated notes in clips and then it'll sound like this. Doing that saves a lot of headaches, so I highly recommend you uncheck that. The next one is a kick hot key that I feel like everybody needs to know. Say I made my 808 pattern already, and I wanna copy it over to the kick. Instead of just spending all this time doing this, you don't have to do that. All I gotta do is hit OK, and boom. It all snaps to one note. This is extremely helpful when I have like a ton of like snare rolls, and I want them just in one spot, or if I want hi-hats in one spot. It all helps. So the next one is legato. So basically legato means just connect notes. So all you have to do for that is hit Alt L and that's what it'll look like. It'll connect to the next couple notes. But if you wanna shorten it, just hit Shift D and then that'll shorten the notes. So the next one is the F1 through F10 hotkeys. So F1 opens up a knob just in case you wanna like learn anything about FO. That basically just pulls up the menu. F2 brings up a pattern where you can name it and then if you hit it again, you can go through and cycle through different colors. F3 opens up the file window, so it's just a real quick hotkey. F4 opens up the next available pattern. F5 opens up the playlist window. F6 opens up the channel rack. F7 opens up the piano roll. F8 is super clutch because it opens up the plugin picker. Now, I don't know about you, but I need to see it. Like sometimes I get so overwhelmed with VSTs and stuff like that, where if I see what it looks like, I already know. Like, oh, I need a soft clipper or I need the love filter. It's right here. Oh, I can't think of that one uh, bass effect bass drum. It's right there. F9 opens up the mixer window. F10 just opens up the MIDI settings. F11, project settings, F12 does nothing. <laughs> control A is to select everything in the bar, then control C is to copy, and then control B is to paste. Super simple. So the next one is consolidation. Now I know you probably noticed, but here's a little experience that happened to me recently, which is horrible, that I can share with you. Make sure you save these as unique names, because if you don't, and you transfer over to a different computer, FL is gonna load up the wrong file. And then you're gonna have super trouble trying to find the file because when you register it as a new system, it only registers the rendered files as track one consolidated or track two consolidated. So I recommend that you bring it over to a track and name it something. You get soft synth 76. Right click and then you're gonna see this consolidate this track. So this is what we're gonna have. You get soft synth 76 consolidated. Meaning that's not gonna load up the wrong file. It's always gonna load up this file. So I highly recommend that you name it the project file and you name it like a unique name. So that way you could always find it. Cause if you don't, you're just gonna have a lot of headaches. I've had, I lost a ton of beats that way. Trust me. And if you ever need to find this file, just open up the channel sampler, hit the little file over here. And then all the files and everything is gonna be in documents, image line, FL Studio, audio, rendered. I highly recommend when you get an even better computer and you transfer over everything, make sure you transfer over those files. If you lose those files, I promise you, you're gonna lose like hours of work and it's gonna break your heart. Trust me, I, I don't want nobody to go through that shit, man. That had me heartbroken, for real. <laughs> so the next thing I can show you is actually two things. So say you found a really dope snare, right? But you don't know where you found it. All you gotta do is drag the wave over and it'll pop up right there. Now, the next thing is probably something that we all experience. So say you're auditioning the sounds, right? You're trying to find the right sound, you're trying to find the right snare and then you accidentally replace the sound, but you don't know what original sound you had. 
All you have to do is go over to this file tab, right click it, and then you'll see the history of sounds that you just previewed. It'll have like 13 or 15 sounds that are actually in the playlist that you recently used. I promise you, when I found that out, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Ugh. That's probably like the most annoying thing ever because we search for sounds all day and finally when we have it and you replace it, now you gotta like find it all over again and that's trash. <laughs> so the next thing is quantize. Now I'm not talking about the piano roll quantize, I'm talking about the playlist roll quantize. So let's say you didn't do a good job of chopping and you copy and paste it over. If you notice, the beginning of this is good obviously, right? But when you copy it over, it is off grid, it is off time. And the more and more you copy and paste it, look, off grid, off time. So all you wanna do is just highlight that, go to this function all the way over here, go to tools, quick quantize start time, or you can hit shift Q, and then it'll quantize itself to the nearest grid. So look, it's quantized. And all I will have to do is just chop. When it comes to the quantize, I recommend that you select it and then you hit shift Q. Cause if you just hit shift Q, it quantizes everything. And say if I wanna have like a transition effect or even like my tag to be off time a bit, like if I nudged it, then it kind of just like snaps it back to grid. So make sure you select the portion and then you hit shift Q. Okay, so it's the next day and my camera did not record half the video. Yeah, I know, it's whack. So I'm gonna show you guys the sauce, the secret stuff. The first half of the video was more so keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm gonna show you guys secret FL features and also things that I feel like could help you out because sometimes we hit the wrong button and everything just goes everywhere. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is merge pattern clips. Say you accidentally split channel mixer and then you have everything like this. So merge pattern clips is just basically choosing different patterns and putting it all into one. So instead of creating a whole new pattern and then copying and then pasting it onto there, you could do it differently. Grab all the patterns that you want, right? Or you can grab certain sounds. So say I only want to group the hi-hats and the claps. Just grab that section, go to this arrow on the top right, go to edit, and then just hit merge pattern clips. Hi-hats, claps, all in one pattern. So the next secret thing I can show you is the secret FL plugins that nobody knows it's in there. So you go to the mixer track and then you pull up patcher. Go to the top left corner, hit that arrow and go to browser presets. Over here, you're gonna see a ton of different presets, right? The folders you really wanna focus on where the secret plugins are, are the XY's labs folder and the XU lean folder. There's a ton of plugins in here there's a ton of effects in here. It's super dope because a lot of people think you need external plugins when in all reality, you can have that in here. They actually have a fake RC20 in here. Just open up the XU lean folder and look for humanizer. So to test that theory, let's find a MIDI and then pull up FL Piano and we'll see how well this fake RC20 works. So we'll use Palace's pack. I honestly really like this pack because there's a lot of different melodic elements and counter melodies in here. Shout out to him. There's one in here, this one. That's big fire, so we're gonna use that one. Let's just throw a humanizer on there. Let's see if there's a reverb in here too. Let's throw an exciter on here, see if this sounds good.
Let's throw a phaser on here too. Sounds super good to me. Honestly, you don't really need to have all these external plugins to feel like you can achieve that sound. In all actuality, these secret effects in here can really do the trick. And they also show you how they're made too. So if you wanna get creative and create your own chains, do that. And then you can share with other people and then you got some new sauce. So if you really did want RC20, you wanted the real thing, Spice actually has a really dope rent to own plugin program where you only get charged $5 a month and you pay off the VST and it's yours forever. That sounds super dope and I honestly wish I had that. Shout out to Spice for doing that because it's helping out so many people. I highly recommend you take advantage of it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a link for it down in the description. I think now's about a good time to explain to you really quick the next thing and that is drag and drop presets. So I remember I was in a session one time and I saw somebody legit look at all the presets and try to copy them individually. And they didn't know that you could just go all the way over here to the corner on the left-hand side where this arrow is, go to file and then save mixer track as, and just drag that over to the new mixer track and boom, same thing, all those VSTs and settings are there super simple super easy don't do that <laughs> don't do that fam i promise you that was like the most annoying day ever <laughs> which actually brings me to the next thing which is the order of your vsts matter you're not going to get that same sound every time if you put the reverb first and then the effects you might get a certain cool effect but if you put a flanger first and then the reverb, it's gonna sound completely different as opposed to putting the reverb first and then the flanger. It's not gonna achieve the same sound. Let's just try it on here actually. Let's put the phaser first and then the reverb. And then we'll turn off the humanizer and exciter. Remember that sound. So let's put the reverb first and then the phaser. Doesn't have the same sound. It might have the same effect, but it feels way different. Trust me on this. And if you can't hear the difference, put on some headphones and then play it back or experiment yourself. I promise you. You're gonna hear it night and day. It's gonna be completely different. So take into consideration that. So the next one is use FL Studio's default project file and steal from it. Listen, you can learn a lot from it and you can get a lot of presets from there. Let me show you actually. Here's the main project file. It's not too late to fight. The game has just begun. When you're done once in a while, you can tell a Sounds dope, and as soon as I hit pause, you still hear that reverb and a couple of those effects on there. Why not take from that? In order to achieve this sound, they used a whole bunch of you know effects, a whole bunch of VSTs. So why not take those presets, take those mixer presets, and use them for later? Study off this project file. That's why they gave it to you. So if you don't have a good vocal preset like this one, it's not too late to fight, the game has just begun. When you're done once in a while, you can climb the path again. Look at the mixer presets and save them. You can literally save this as vocal preset one, delay effect one, what is this, vox effect one, ad libs. You have a good chain to start off with. So that way, you know, when you're in a situation, you already have your template set up. You could actually copy this whole thing, delete a lot of this, and just save the effects and the VSTs and the templates for your own use, which is super dope. Fam, what are you doing? 
I'm almost done. If I like this piano, I'll take that MIDI and I'll take that preset. I can get super crafty. I could take all these other sounds, synth chords. Look at that again, flex, favorite. So that way I know that's a good sound. A lot of this stuff is here for you, <laughs> you know? So why not use it? There's a lot of things you can take from this project file, you know, sounds, presets, even the way they laid out the whole production. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope I gave you guys a lot of gems and trigger that aha moment. You know what I'm saying? And I also hope you guys do take advantage of that Splice Rent to Own program. That's super clutch. I'm actually about to get Serum because I saw they have it on there and I need that. There's a lot of dope presets on Splice that I've been saving. I definitely need to get that. Comment down below what else you guys want to see, whether it be challenges, whether it be, you know, cook up videos. Listen, whatever you guys want, I'll give you guys the gems as best as I can because none of this is a mystery. And for all the people that told me and try to block me out of certain situations and say, oh, you're giving away the sauce, it's demystified. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is that you guys get better and that you guys make great music and you guys take advantage of every opportunity and everything that's in front of you. Cause I promise man, life can change. <laughs> so with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.